everyone this is Shishi coming on to do Friday flowers the flower we're making today it looks like this I'll show you the flower that's in the center of this bow here's another version of it so that's what we're making today I'll show you the dies that I use they come from a set like this it's the middle size and the small size. There's a set of four dies. There's like a circle. Then there's a larger flower. And then these are the two other pieces. So that's what we're using. And the combination that I'm using to get this look, I have three already made. I'm making like a flower embellishment pack. So that's what you'll need. So I'll tell you how many flowers to cut out. I've already pre-cut them. So for the middle size, you'll need one flower in like a solid or sort of like a solid. I have like little tiny polka dots on this one. Then you'll need a print. So there's two flowers. So one sort of like a solid, one like a print. So there's two in this size. Then you'll need three of the small size. So I have two sort of like a solid and then one like a print. So that's how it goes. So as you can see with my flower, I have the solid, print, solid, print, solid for the center. And that's how it looks. So it's a pretty design, I feel, decorative flower for your centers of like a bow or on a card or whatever you want to use it for. So I thought I'd do this video in case you needed that flower. Okay, so let's get started. Now you do need some scissors because the flower does not look like that on its own as it's cut out. You'll need to make some cuts into the petals. So I'll show you what to do. And that's for all of the flowers. Because you need to do some adjustments when you're shaping the flowers. So we'll just cut into the flower just slightly. You'll make some little cuts in like a triangle so let me get up close to the camera so you can see where I'm cutting and you'll just take out these little pieces this just helps you when you're making the shapes so this is just a little tiny piece that I took out like that and you'll do that for all the sides of the flower so I'll just cut in and take out that little piece this just gives you, um, because it's shaped like this, this gives you more versatility with the set and doing different looks of this set. So that's why I like this set because you can do so many different looks for this flower. And there's two more sides to cut into for this large set or the middle set of flowers. I'm doing two at once so that they both look similar. Let's cut in. And then for the three flowers I'll do all three together to save time. This is the last one. Okay, so here I have both of them done. We'll set that aside. You will need a stylus to shape your petals, give them some dimension. You'll need some glue, and that is all you'll need. Okay, here we go for the smaller petals. We'll cut in. And just get like a little tiny piece that we're taking out. Just like that. See, that's all we took out. 
cut in. doesn't have to be that perfect because when you shape them it looks so much different and then when you layer them it looks so much different so it doesn't have to be a perfect petal because when you give it some embossing it'll turn into a nice round shape okay so there's just two more to go to cut into And that's how you do it. Here's the last one. Just in case you were wondering how the flowers were made. So now all three are done. Okay, so we'll set this this one will be the bottom layer and then these two will be molded into like a bud all right so we'll just flip these two over and in case anyone needs to know what size this uh, nib is have to check over this is the eight millimeter because it's not it's not listed on the on the uh, on the uh, actual tool so I have to check sometimes all right so this is the solid piece and the printed piece so we're just going to give it a deep impression hopefully you guys can see I'm going to leave everything I'm not going to zoom in too close so I hope this is a good view So, so this is what I get when I'm forming the bud. I'll do the same with the printed. Give it a nice uh, embossing. This will be the second layer here. Now we're going to form the bud for the inner portion of the flower. All you need to do is just glue on the outer edges of each petal and glue them together. So take that one and glue it together. Just like that and hold it so that's stuck together as you can see then we'll form the next one and glue that on to the next petal give it some glue and hold it hopefully you can see So that's three, one, two, three in a row that's glued. Okay, now that side is formed. So when you get to that side, we're going to take these two sides and tuck them in like so like just like that see and then we'll take this one and glue that one on to these two petals so I'm just gonna get some glue right here and right here and glue that on there and hold it and that's forming the bud and we'll hold that tight until that holds and you can roll it tighter if you want to but it's all up to you 
and then once that stays you'll take this outer layer and fold it over to that layer so I'm just going to add some glue and then hold everything together and then that should stay so hopefully you can see where I'm going with this and that'll all hold really really tight see all the way around and then you'll let that dry while you do the second layer which is the printed layer this will fit inside of the printed layer so what you will do is add a little bit of glue at the bottom and then you'll put that inside of this printed bud of the flowers so that goes at the bottom and then your bud is going to peek out of it and then what you want to do is <clears throat> one of the flowers like one of these petals will go in between in between one of these petals as you can see see there's like a gap so I'm just going to make sure one of the flower petals goes in between and stick that down once that dries give it some glue and take one of the petals and fold it over get some more glue fold that one over more glue and just keep going around each petal and then once you get glue around you hold that a little bit tighter like that I want to set that aside to dry it's going to unravel just a little bit it doesn't have to be real tight for the third layer we're just going to do some embossing just like that and we'll flip that flower over press it down in the center just like that this is how it looks you'll take this portion of the bud this will go inside of this flower and then one of the petals will go in between these two petals right here this two so I'm going to set that down to dry you can see that okay next are these two flowers let me see if I can zoom in just a slight bit okay I'm gonna flip those over we're gonna do some embossing You don't want to press too hard, depending on your paper weight, you could poke holes in it. So we'll just go around each edge of the petal and give it some embossing. And then emboss the center, like so. Trying to go as slow as possible. And then we'll do the same for the other layer. I 
and then emboss it in the center as well. The solid piece is the last layer, so you want to put some glue on the printed layer. When you're adding this piece, you're going to offset it, meaning you're going to put one petal in between these two petals. And this is how it looks. And then you'll take this piece right here and we're going to set it right in the center. Now this flower should go in between the petals of this flower. like that and you want to make sure it's centered and press it down and then we'll lift up the petals to give it some dimension no need to glue anymore but this is how it looks and then we can take some adhesive like that, add it on the back and stick it on your flower embellishment pack. And then I have a little bag these are the bags I use people ask me all the time what bags I use for my embellishments so this is what I use I got them from Tuesday morning a couple years ago and then I just stick them right inside and then it's ready for a topper and then this will complete my embellishment pack for um, someone I'll finish decorating it but this is uh, how it looks once it's complete but it's ready for um, gifting and then we'll just Send that off to someone. Oh, I have it on backwards. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> oh my. tape that but hopefully you get the idea got to do it again anyway this is how it looks once it's complete <laughs> oh bloopers in my video anyway this is how it looks when it's finished minus the bloopers so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and you will give the flowers a try and you liked how they looked and when you use them, then this is how it looks in a box or, you know, a decorative box. Okay? So thank you so much for joining me. Take care, and I hope you have a fabulous day.